We have uh, Pastor Matthew, Pastor Peter, Pastor Ali now, for now. Okay. Okay, just at two minutes after nine. Pastor Ali. Sir. Good evening, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, do we give them uh, some. Uh, and that person has joined? Yes, I think so. Yes, I think so. Yes, I think so. so can we can we go ahead? I think that's that. You, you can start. Alright, thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you once again for another opportunity. <coughs> Gathering us together as ministers of the gospel to bring the word of redemption and also to solve the problem in the life of other people. Our Father and our God, we are praying, we are asking all the wisdom we need, all the knowledge we need, all the inspiration we need, all the grace we need, all the power we need, all the revelation we need, all the charisma we need. We pray, O oh God, release them upon our lives as ministers of the gospel so that this work you have committed into our hands praying for souls, ministering to souls, we pray that you prosper in our hands in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go into the second prayer this evening, tonight, we are asking, we are praying, Father, the spiritual strength from above, power to pray, the spiritual energy, the spirit of prayer, we pray that you will release upon our soul, upon our spirit, the spirit of prayer and supplication, so that we will pray like holy men, pray with understanding, pray into the realm of the spirit, for us to have revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless every minister of the gospel on this platform. And after this brief moments of prayer and exhortation, every one of us, our ministry, we grow to the next level, to your glory, and through that, many souls will be delivered, and many souls will get close to God, and they also come into the kingdom of God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Thank Jesus you, Lord. Name, we pray it. Amen. Amen. Without going to most prayables, I have a very short time. And I believe I'm talking to ministers, pastors, shepherds. And the way we address shepherds is quite different the way we address ordinary members and ordinary people that come for prayer meeting, even worship service is quite different. That is why the Lord laid this thing in my heart to share with my fellow pastors. Let's talk on our Bible to the book of Isaiah chapter 42. Isaiah, I expect us to be with our Bible. We are up first. Isaiah chapter 42. I read verse 19. I have to be very fast because I have a very brief moment before me. Who is blind? But my servant. Can you imagine? 
the servant of the Lord is blind. Who is blind? But my servant. Or death as my messenger that I sent to run errors for me. Who is blind? As he that is perfect, a righteous servant, a holy servant. No sin is living in the perfect will of God. I am the servant of the Lord that is blind. And as the Lord servant, who see many things, I speak to him. Parable, he does not understand. Who see many things, I, I speak to him in a dead broad light. He couldn't hear. Who see many things, I show him things. Among the people that is praying for, is praying for, he could not understand. Oh, so many things. But thou observe not. You see, we ministers of the Lord, we need to have eyes as of eagle. To be able to see beyond our nose. And that is why we need to pray all these things to our lives. We must not be a blind minister. We must have a sharp sight, a spiritual sight, an eagle's eyes. The servant of the Lord, the minister of the Lord is blind. And that's all for prayer for a do of force in this platform. That God will open our spiritual eyes. God will open our spiritual ears. And the Lord God Almighty will use us because as ministers of the Lord, we need to pray all these into our lives. You know, sometimes you come to meet prayers, and it's one of the difficult tasks to solve the problem of people. One of the difficult tasks. People have problems there in the platform, and we need to have eyes like of eagle. So and so you are there. The Lord is ministering to me right now. And if you are there, you have asthma in your chest. Put your hand in your chest, I will pray for you over here. And then the person with that, the person who shared his problem with us, all of a sudden, Rema came out. And the person put his hand in her chest or in his chest. And we pray for the person to recover. You tell me, that person will be so grateful to God that God is here. Rema, inside of people's challenges, inside of people's problems, that's so what we need to be praying that God will take away the veil out of our side that we may see beyond. We may see. We must not be blind ministers, blind pastors, blind evangelists, blind prophets. We need to pray that God will give us some sight, spiritual eyes. God will open our spiritual eyes. Some years ago, I was in Bagada, the whole Bagada in the prayer. Prayer warriors. Um, Pastor, what is now a national of ourselves, a- 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 is the head of the prayer warriors in those days. And then somebody came for prayer. We have five services those days. Somebody came for prayer. And mm-hmm. I was with three people. We are trying to minister to people that have challenges. And this person said that he has headache. I cannot forget that day. He has headache. And this brother that they fear me with to minister to people, he will look at the sister. He said, You do not have headache. He said, you have headache. He said, you have headache. Chronic headache. And the mother said, you don't have headache. And he said, she has headache. The mother said, we are not going to pray for you because you do not have headache. He said, that they also come here to come and ask where is time. And that's okay. You have headache. So shall you be. Ah. He said, what do you say? You said, you have headache. And I said, no, so shall you be. And then we did not pray for the brother, we did not pray for, for, for the sister. She left. Do you know that before he crossed the main roof to the other side of the car park, she ran back again. She was also she was shouting that, please, we should pray for her. Please, he came to defeat us to know maybe we have the spirit of God in this place or not. That is how God arrested her. She gave her life to Christ over there, and the Lord delivered her. In fact, that brother, since that, that, that day, I said, wow, this is great. This is spiritual gift. He says she needs, she says she has edit. And the brother said, you do not have edit. So we, we need inner eyes. Inner eyes. I remember we are trying to minister to somebody as uh, Pastor Akonde was just with Brother Akonde that time before he, uh, he was the head of the prayer room at that time. He as we are ministering to somebody, all of a sudden, he, somebody said he called to keep Pastor Kumui. 
He told us here that the prophet told us to say, Ba ba. That's what he said. That's what he said. That is my first time in my life I saw that something kind somebody up is smite the person on the ground. The 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 does fell down. That he he said he came to keep us going. You see, the person said, Ba ba. That's what he was saying. He didn't say in the name of Jesus. He told us shout, Father. <laughs> and anointing cancer there all is smite out the ground. We need power, we need spiritual gifts, which we pray for all this type of gift so that it will make us to be what we ought to be. Number two. We have talked about that. Then do you know that uh, we should do, we shouldn't be like a like a gazer? Then in that is in second Kings chapter five of verse one to the end. You all know the story as the Bible student. Laman came, he has he has a challenge. And then Elisha, I mean, he said, go and wash and come again. To cut a long story short, he went to go and wash and then he recovered himself. When he recovered himself, then this other, the servant, the Zanan, run after him. He hurt Elisha, give him some gift, give him some, something. He said, no, he doesn't want to collect. He asked him, collect from my hand, man of God. He said, no, I'm okay. And he refused to collect it. The Zanan run after the man. He said, in that give a story, 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 that people came and all that, and they lost, my, my master sent me to you. In that giving some gift and all that, he came back to Elisha. As he came back, Elisha said, young man, come here. Where is come here now? In that said, thy servants, servant, thy servants, uh, where uh, go no, no place and all that. And Elisha said unto him, went not my ass with thee, when the man turned again from his chariots to meet thee, is it time to receive money and to receive garments and all that? In answer, the leprosy of this man will come upon him. The point is, Elisha had sight. Elisha saw him when he was going. Oh, Elisha, he saw him when he was going. He said, my eyes follow you. My eyes, I can see you. So when this day was sight. That all the vain in our life, which which won't be like uh, this uh, priest in the Old Testament, uh, was the, the uh, in First Samuel, where Samuel says Sam, Samuel was there, the uh, and, and then the 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 the, the, the priest, the the, the 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 priest Eli, Eli, thank you, Holy Spirit, the the, the priest Eli, the Bible says his eyes was deep, he can't see, his eyes was deep. We, we hey, all those demons in our sight, the Holy Ghost will flow straight away and give us eyes of eagle, sharp sight, eyes of eagle, for us to be able to do the work in the mighty name of Jesus. And I believe in God. As we pray, God will open our heart, open our eyes, open our ear. The Spirit of God will descend upon our life, and then we began to do exploits for the glory of the Lord in Jesus' name. Before we pray, let me just say this with you. Amen. We need some power. Number one, we need power and purity. It goes together as ministers. We need power and purity. If we have power without purity, it's not balanced. We need power and purity. Number two, we need charisma and character. Charisma and character. You see, the GS, the GS come to the, to the altar. See charisma. Tonight is your night. Power in your life. And you see, I, I move in, I it will move here in the platform here and here. See charisma. Charisma. We need charisma and character. To be able to succeed in ministry. If we have charisma without character, it's not properly okay. Let's take note of that and let's pray for that. Not only that, we need gift and grace. If we have gift without grace, my brother, it's nothing. It's nothing. My sister is nothing. We need gift and grace in our life. You have the gift of the gift of knowledge, gift of, of interest. We need gift and knowledge. Let's pray for that. As we have gift, let's also pray. For grace, for grace, gift and grace. And finally, holiness and humility. You see, many ministers, many ministers, many ministers, they, there's no humility in their life. And in the ministry, I, mean, I also say this in the ministry, if you want to go higher in the ministry, you must be humble. Because even the pastor ahead of you, if you are not loyal to them, take it or leave it. Is the, is the truth. If you have not known that, they can't push you forward. They say, this is what I always debate. This is what I always counter what I'm saying. 
Yeah, if there's any opportunity in Emirates to go ahead, they will just sit you down over here. But when you are lawyer, when you, okay, sir, no, I have you, sir. Sorry, sir. I will do it, sir. Thank you, sir. That is it. When you have an immunity, when there's an open door, they will push you forward. They will push you forward. Because there's a new thing to do. If you have, if we have charisma, and we are not humble, I'm telling you, we may have the gift to, but we, the level God expects us to minister, you understand? You will see, we'll be, we, 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 we will not get there. But I am believing God that as we pray together, the Lord God Almighty will take us to that, that great level in Jesus' name. Finally, Amen. Amen. We, shouldn't allow, we shouldn't allow tradition to block revelation. We are, this is so common in our ministry. I repeat again. We shouldn't allow tradition to block revelation. You know, uh, I, I thank God. Let me just share this testimony with you. I just thank God very much how the Lord has been helping us in this platform and also in my, in my life as well. Uh, when James started in Lagos, mm-hmm. when James started in Lagos, so church here, church here, church here. So where I am, they pull me out from that place and say, now, nah, Go, go to one of the locations over there. Now, the pastor over there, they're not making, in my group, they're not making the chair, the, 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 the gem church planter. So it was so busy, go here, go here, go here, another apple time. Uh, I said, okay, Victor, please, go that place. And was, I began to manage that location church, began, began to make the location church and all that. And uh, then what they said, they, they, the, the, the minister came, and at that time before the GSA, they should have their own partner first now, because the group pastor, all those um, leaders, Jim and all that, they had, they had those going up and supervising the district and the work and the church and all that. So I was ministering by the group in the location church. And then he came, when he came, he was listening to what I'm saying. And uh, I remember that very day, and I said, as I was preaching, I paused. I said, thank you, Holy Spirit. I continue again. And then the Lord ministered to me in humility. I don't say thank you, Holy Spirit. I continue again. At the end of the revival service, he called me. He said, Whatever they don't practice in the headquarter in deeper light, don't say it in the district or in the location or in the group. I said, Sir, I said, What have I done? And he said, You speak, he said, You're not pause. Thank you, this way you continue. Now pause. Thank you, this way. And I say, in that be the case, can we see the group prayer for that? We can see the Lagos State Connector for us to see the GS. You know, I told him with all respect and humility, I said that it's like you want to allow re- you want to allow tradition to block revelation. And when we find ourselves in that atmosphere, we allow tradition. Yes, how we do it. You must not go this way. You must stay in the pulpit here. Go here, go here. It's not allowed. Will you allow tradition to block revelation? Rema, the people under the ministry we are trying to need, do not get what God expected them to get. So please, pastors, let's, let's be mature pastors. And let's, let's, let's have sixty prayer, powerful prayer. And let's see the face of God in love. And I thank God for all the pastors in this world. In fact, we are all gifted. We are all gifted. All the ministers, we are all gifted in this platform. You understand? So let's pray for, for split past sight. Let's pray for, 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 for revelation. Let's, let, and also let's also see the face of God so that God can impart upon our life all this deeds so that we can be what we ought to be. And I believe in God. As we pray for God, God should open our spiritual eyes, open our ear, all the, all the spiritual, uh, all the spiritual, Catalyze uh, that uh, cover our eyes, Holy Ghost, take it away, give me a revelation. In, in, in Psalm, the Bible says, with the, in those days, the word of God was cast. What Psalm is about, that's why there was no open vision. And when we don't have any open vision, we come to need prayer, no open vision. We come, we come to service, no open vision. And they, they, there is no revelation that, 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 that back with the word of God. You understand? The people under our administration will be weak. They will not, they'll not be able to have what God has planted and expected for them to have. But they are believing God. As we seek the face of God, as we pray, secret prayer, we knock at the gate of heaven. We pray the Lord will use us. Finally, before we pray, as God began to bless us in this platform, please, I want to say this before it began to happen. I want to say this as the Lord is telling me. 
as God began to bless us with this like with souls and people, don't be surprised. So who just call Pastor Matthew Wadi? Pastor Matthew, please, that means that I need a prayer. Who is he? Uh, Pastor Matthew says he's one of our pastor, this and this. Okay, can you please connect me with him? I want to give him some money and all that for him praying for me. God have used me him to bless me. I want to bless him with some money to give some dollars and to bless him. Let's not be like here, sir. Let's be a man of God. You understand? Let's, 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 let's not allow covetousness. It destroys ministers. It destroys ministry. Covetousness. Let us not allow it. And the Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's go to our eyes and the prayers. Let's go the ends of the Lord. Father, we want to worship, we want to bless, we want to we'll give you all the because you are a great God. We are a great God. Among the girls who like come today, we thank you for your word that has come to us yesterday. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, we pray in this prayer. Way. We will focus. We thank you very much for this word of salvation. The grace that we must lost connection with you, Father, we pray that you grant unto us, O Lord, in the name of Jesus, O Lord, we are praying that you will be the name of the Lord, even on the earth of others. O Lord, God, we honor you, the name of Jesus, my God, we are praying to you, Father, we are praying to you, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, in Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord, Amen. Amen. Fabu. Amen. 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 Pastor Mike online. Pastor Mike. Sir. Oh, yeah, you can uh, lead us for the next 15 minutes. Let's uh, pray on what you have listened to. You can. Your time starts now. Go ahead, sir. Let's begin to call upon the name of the Lord. We have been given spiritual insights as ministers of God, as pastors. All your truth. Father God, your form. Thank you so much, oh Lord. My God, I come to you. My God and my Father. My God, Invincible <laughs> but <laughs> Lord, I'm asking my brother God in the name of Jesus Christ that if my God is ever will make me a new brother Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, open my spiritual eyes. Lord, Heavenly Father God, I'm asking of oh God, everything, all the veil covering our spiritual sight, 
Mighty God, let my spiritual eyes be open. Almighty God, the Bible says we is alive. My father, my I want us to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to pray to the Lord. If things are going to change in our lives, Apart from exhorting holiness and righteousness, and exhorting humility, being humble, and allowing the Spirit of the Lord to take over our lives, we want to call upon the name of the Lord, that the power of the Lord will envelop us. Amen. Amen. That God, men and women of secret prayer, Amen. God will make us and women of searching purity. Amen. God will make men of strong persuasion. Amen. Amen. God will make men of scriptural principles. Amen. Let's call up the Lord. God, God, make me my in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, Lord, I need the authority, holiness without you so much as say the Lord, that only to every other, that is a mortal to live in spotless life, in life of the without any reason, without any blemish, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, a God that was so created to me, to clean out of God and renew a right spirit within me, Father, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says, Thou lovest righteousness and faithest in love with the dear for God, in thy God, as anointed with the oil of gladness, and what I said, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, oh Lord, God, my foot in love for righteousness, oh God, love for righteousness, love for holiness, peace for my heart to God, the love of the truth, the love of the truth, Almighty oh, God, I'm asking my Father God, oh Lord, the blood of soul, the zeal for energy, the power, the fire of the Spirit of God, oh Lord, I'm asking my Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, you, and you shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. Amen. Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hello, Pastor Mark. Are you still on? Okay, let's continue Amen. to pray. Amen. Amen. 
happen to call upon the name of the Lord. You see, anyone who is going to be a real minister of God, just as our pastor had told us, must be a man of humility, a man of holiness, a man filled with the scriptures, a man full of the Spirit of God, a man of faith. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. We want to pray what the angel of the Lord told Mary. He said, the power of the highest will overshadow you. Amen. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Oh God, as pastors, let the power of the highest overshadow my life. Amen. Open your mouth and pray the name of the Lord. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost, will be so resident in my life tonight. Holy Ghost, you are resident in my soul. Holy Ghost, you are resident in my body. Holy Ghost, you are resident in me. Holy Ghost, take possession of every heart that God wants to be. Even tonight, in Jesus' name, every weakness, every driving, every and the power of God comes and envelop me, O Lord, from the crown of my head down to the soles of my feet tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, O Lord, I pray for the Spirit baptism, baptism with fire, baptism with the power of the Holy Ghost, O God, with the anointing of the Spirit of God. Lord, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, Lord, that to begin to speak for my Father God, we will be miserable, O God. Oh my spirit, oh my soul, mighty God, I ask you, my Father, I want to say, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty God, I ask you, oh Lord, that to possess my soul with the spirit and power, to possess my inner most heart, in the name of the Holy Ghost, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh God, help me, oh God, help me, strengthen me, oh God, in my inner mind, by the power of the Holy Ghost, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God in the name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh God, you say, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost has come for you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in Samaria, and in Judea, even to the uttermost part of the earth. Almighty God, I'm asking, oh God, begin to release your power, begin to release the anointing of the Holy Ghost, anointing to pray the Lord of the Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we want to worship and bless your name for the privilege to come before you today. We thank you for your hand upon every one of us. I thank you for giving us this grace to be here once. Thank you for a word that has come unto us. 
O Lord, we are praying that you visit us afresh, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you ask a question. Who is blind like my servants? O Lord, we are praying that the grace that will not be part of those blind servants grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we are praying that you touch our eyes. Father, touch our ears. Father, touch our inner man so that when we hear from you, we will see clearly and we will feel you at all times in Jesus' name. Amen. In this ministry, Lord, we are praying that you give us the grace, that the grace that we put ourselves under, so that you will be able to truly walk on us and walk with us. Father, we pray that you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We commit every one of our pastors on this platform, Lord, into your hands. O Lord, we are praying that you give us that heavenly wisdom to be able to discern when it is from you and when, it's not, and when it is not from you. Father, grant that to every one of us here, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Like our pastor was leading, he said the young lady came and said he has headache. And the man of God said, you have no headache. And continue to enforce it. Oh Lord God in heaven, I also remember some years ago when you gave us 10 promises of what you are going to do in a program that we have arranged. And a lady came into that program looking like a Jezebel. And she gave exactly the same 10 promises that you already gave to us through our leaders. And I asked a simple question, Lord, and you asked me to check the time. And at the end of the time, you explained to me that that lady that came to give that prophecy, he only gave us a dead prophecy. And Lord God, he never were able to give me that privilege to be able to to hear from you at that time. And everyone was confused. But after that explanation, we went all rejoicing. Oh Lord, we are praying. The grace that we'll go back to that our first love. The grace that we'll go back to that our first relationship. That we could hear from you directly. Father, we pray that you grant unto every one of us, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. As we continue this program, we are moving to a prayer request now. Lord, we pray that every request we are going to bring before you today, you will answer us speedily, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for having us. prayer, pray, O oh Lord. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Pastor Shego, are you online? Yes, I'm online. Okay, sir, you can go ahead with the prayer request now. You have 15 minutes. Please, let's stick to the time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to take um, some prayer requests. <clears throat> and I believe God, that God who has started with us, in the fullness of his power, he will surely demonstrate his might. He will demonstrate his faithfulness unto every one of us, and of course, it will give us answers of peace in Jesus' name. Amen. We have some prayer requests that have been tendered here. First of all, let me remind us again the promise of God. Isaiah 65, verse 24. The book of Isaiah 65, verse 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. That's right. And while they are here speaking, are we here? Okay. That's mm-hmm. what the promise yeah. of God says. We want to pray. Somebody has written and he said that we should pray that God of heaven will grant unto him or her fruitfulness in the family. Mm. That God will make the family to become fruitful. Probably they have been looking yeah. for the fruit of the womb for quite a long time. Yeah. They want yeah. to pray that every fruitlessness yeah. in that family the Lord ah. will destroy it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please open your mouth and pray and call upon Amen. the Lord now. Amen. 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 Amen.
According to the word of God, Jesus, Amen. Amen. Now I'm going to combine some prayer requests because I want us to pray for Nigeria. But before then, listen to the prayer requests of this individual. He said we should pray for divine provision in the family. Not only that, he said we should pray for the salvation of his sister's sons and other oh. members of the family. Shall we lift up this prayer request before the Lord? the <laughs> Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again. The same person said we should pray for more grace in his life and family to be rapturable and be ready for the for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Not only that, so we should pray for more passion, passion for soul winning. That the Lord will grant unto him. Open your mouth and pray and tell the Lord. 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 Now, please listen to this concerned prayer request again. The same person has written on behalf of another sister. He said, please pray for a particular sister who has been sick of cancer of the breast. We want to pray that the hand of God will come upon that sister. Amen. 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 Cancer, the Lord will remove it in the name of Jesus Christ. we want to pray again for that sister we want to pray that everything that the enemy has planted in that body all mm. the cancer all the cancer jams that is ravaging the body, the chest, any part of the body, 
We want Holy to pray Lord. that the mighty Jesus. fire of the Holy Ghost will root out everything now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody Amen. has written, somebody has written once again and he said, Please pray for me. I want God's provision to be able to renew, that God will provide financially for me to renew my range. We want to pray and table that request before the Lord. Shall we open our mouth and begin to pray? now we want to pray. Another person has written, he said, we should pray for him that he has been having constant hiccups. Constant hiccups. Since last night, since yesterday, it has been affecting that person. We want to pray that whatever thing that is causing that hiccup, you know, dryness of the throat or whatever thing that he has eaten, the Lord will totally remove that thing now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So pray. Let's open our Sorry, before we take other requests, I want to lift up Nigeria's case before the Lord. It has been a burden on my heart. And I want to read from Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. Exodus chapter 12, verse 12. He said, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this mm. night, and I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and, all, and against all the gods of, the, of Egypt. I am I the Lord. I will Lord. execute judgment. Oh. I am the Lord. That's so right. I want to pray. Amen. 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 We want to pray for Nigeria. We want to pray for Nigeria. That uh, it, it we have heard about this karma. Exactly. Karma means companies and allied matters act. And the, you know, it's just like um, unbelievers want to be controlling the churches. What they want to control our ah. churches. We want to pray. The Bible says, "Word to him that decree unrighteous decree." Unrighteous decree. And That's we right. We want to tell the Lord and say, God. Pass through Nigeria this night. Mm-hmm. Everything that is of NC, the Almighty God will pull them down. 
That's right. Amen. I say karma must die a natural death. Amen. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray and say, God, that's Holy law. Father, that's karma law. Let me pray. 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 I want to take this request again before we round off. I want to pray. That sister that said, he said, our boss has been, you know, I've been, I've been blocking our progress, our promotion, all this while. We want to pray once again, even though we pray about it sometimes ago. We are still going to pray about it again. That God will silence this sworn enemy. Uh-huh. And that Amen. God, in the name of the Lord, be glorified. This sister will be promoted in the name of Jesus Christ. we want to pray that God will touch this individual who has been having pain all over his body and even resulting to dizziness. We want to pray that the mighty hand of God will take away that heal health out of that person. Let's open our mouth and pray and call upon the Lord. Heavenly Father, Father in heaven we pray for this um, brother that has been every having sickness, every form of sickness, the Lord will take it away now. We pray that the mighty power will take away in the name of Jesus. Please over to Pastor Peter. Uh, thank you, Pastor Shegu. Pastor Matthew, you can take over for the remaining five minutes, sir. Let's just continue to call upon the name of the Lord. 
that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, God will, will not abandon you and you send it from the heaven. That you are the one who is going to rest upon everyone of us. So the people of the Lord will be the intercessor of the people of the Lord. We will be the evangelist of the evangelist. All of us will be the one who is going to rest upon the heaven. you will have no need to regret it in the name of Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord. As God has seen you, as God has seen you, as God has seen you, look at everyone of God in line. Look at yourself as the pastor of the pastor. Look at all the other ones of God as your colleagues. Call upon the name of the Lord that you will not meet anyone of God in the kingdom of God. That by the power and the power of Jesus Christ, we will not meet you in the kingdom of God. What shall be the benefit of a man if he gave all this world, if he gave all this popularity, if he gave all the anointing, if he gave all the sweet of God to sit up, if he gave all the good of the world, but that did not come, but that did not come, but that did not come, you couldn't believe it, but that was not in your country, 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 that to follow Almighty God. But where it, where it remains only one of us, and the little compromise wall, and you look at the left side, there's no wall. You look at the right side, there's no wall. At your back, there's no presence. At your front, there's no presence. And that person tells you, God understands. And you, 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 you compromise it to me. Fall upon the name of the law. Fall upon the name of the law. For all those kind of bondage, that the devil is using to tie down all the 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 all Oh, 
Father, we thank you because the church is marching forward. That's right. Oh, yes, Lord. We shall not prevail. Yeah. Thank oh, you yes, for Lord. what you have been using this mighty man of God to do week in and week out. It's always a wonderful time on Thursday, on Saturdays, and on Sundays like this. Thank you for everyone you have been using. Pastor Ali, Pastor Peter, Pastor Nathaniel, Pastor Shegun, everyone that I, I, I can remember at this time. Lord, we appreciate you in Jesus' name. Amen. We have, Amen. We have made requests. want to thank you because heaven has answered us in Jesus' We have our own needs. Father, we pray and we ask you will meet us at the point of our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. None of us will miss our reward in Jesus' name. Amen. In our lives, in our family at this time. Lord, because we are standing in the gap for your church and for other people, you will attend to our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For us. Amen. Financial doors, Amen. material doors. Amen. Doors in every area of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For Pastor Matthew and the church he is pastoring in U.S. Lord, you will bring more members. Amen. Amen. Come and assist him in the work of the Lord in that local church in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For tomorrow's program, we pray that your power will come. And you will visit the young men, not the men that will be having tomorrow's program in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Thank you, Lord. Thank you Lord. Amen. 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 Let us share the grace together. Please do not forget men prayer meeting. Please, all of us, our, we are expecting you to be there. God will help us in Jesus' name. Continue to pray for Pastor Nathaniel and the grace of the Lord will be upon him. And he will live according to the will of the Lord uh, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace together. The grace, the grace of the Lord, the Lord the Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Thank you, all the pastors who are, who are present, and please, all the boot is Zoom, please.com, uh, and then all of them are working well. 
and we can see the improvement on this player. So we continue to help in Jesus' name. It is with death. I'm showing my God. Amen. So we not leave you alone in Jesus' name. Your ministry, so we lift you up in Jesus' name. Once again, so we not put so we not put not put the shame in Jesus' name. Thank you for blessing us. Amen. Amen. Amen.